In today's video, I will show you how to set up a custom domain using Render and Google Domains. However, the steps should be similar for any domain provider that you're using. Once you have your custom domain fully set up, you will be able to see the exact same website that we see here, but at your custom domain. So you can see here, this is the custom domain that I set up. And once I go to it, I see the exact same website that I saw previously. To start the process of setting up your own custom domain, we can just go back to the render dashboard. Here, you can see my website that I already uploaded. If you're wondering how to upload your website to render, you can watch my previous video explaining the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. But once we successfully upload our website, we can just click on settings, scroll down until you see the section about custom domains, which is right here. Click on add custom domain, type in the domain that you want to add here. I went ahead and added mine then click save. You should now see a screen very similar to this. If you added a custom domain that starts with www, then you see both these sections here, one about a C name and one about an A name or alias. However, if you added anything else as your subdomain, so for example, if I did example dot my domain here, then I would only see this section about the C name. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do both steps. But if you added anything else for your custom domain that wasn't www, then you should only see this section and you will only need to complete this step to get your custom domain working. Now we can just go to our domain provider and start to configure our DNS settings. In this tutorial, I'll be using Google Domains, but you can copy these exact steps for any domain provider that you're using. Once I open up Google Domains, I'll just select my domain and then go to DNS settings. Somewhere on your page, you should see an option to create a new record. So I already clicked that here. We will first be creating a CNAME record. So just type in the subdomain that you typed in earlier. So in my example, I typed in www earlier. And then for the type, just select CNAME. For TTL, you can just leave it as a default value. And then for the very last input, we can go back to render and then copy the value that you see here and then go back to our domain provider and just paste in the value just like this and then hit save. Also, as a note, if you're setting up a custom domain that doesn't start with www, then this is the only step that you need to do and your custom domain should be working soon. But because most people are setting up their custom domain with www, I'm going to show you how to set up the A record next. So we just click on create new record and then for the very first value, just leave it blank. For type, select A. For TTL, just leave it as a default value. And then if we go back to render, we can just copy the IP address here and then paste it in for the value. And then just hit save. Once you've done both those steps, just give it a couple of minutes, go back to render, click on verify. You should see like a green check mark. And then within like 10 to 20 minutes, your custom domain should be working. And that is the end of this render custom domain tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.